So it's the day of the 2023 NBA draft, and we have some shocking breaking news on the Golden State Warriors front. Chris Paul is a Golden State Warrior. The Dubs have traded Jordan Poole to the Washington Wizards in exchange for him, and we're talking about it here on Warriors today. I'm Chase Sr. Thank you so much for joining us. Adrian Wojnarowski with the prototypical Woj bomb on the day of the draft. There were some rumblings a few moments ago that Golden State was shopping Jordan Poole. I did not expect that trade to happen today, nor did I expect this trade to happen that brings Chris Paul to San Francisco to be a backcourt mate with Steph Curry. Here's the tweet from Woj that the Washington Wizards have traded Chris Paul to Golden State in exchange for Jordan Poole. Couple of other elements to this trade as well, as well as another player who's going to our nation's capital. The Warriors only get Chris Paul, but the Wizards received Jordan Poole, Ryan Rollins, who was drafted by the Warriors last year, a 2030 protected first round pick, and a 2027 second round pick. There is so much to talk about with this trade, making a splash today. But first, we want to hear from you down in the comment section right now. A bold first move for Mike Dunleavy Jr. He replaces Bob Myers officially last week, and this is his first move as the Dubs general manager. Let me know what you're thinking about it down in the comment section right now. This is an all-in move this year for Golden State. Chris Paul has one year left on his deal. He is set to make $30 million, and $30 million for a backup guard sounds a lot, right? And it certainly is, but this goes to show you that this organization believes that Golden State can win a championship this year, and I think in trading for Chris Paul, they're trying to take a little bit of the offensive burden off the shoulders of Steph Curry. He's 35 years old. Last year, his usage rate was extraordinarily high. He was used so much and relied upon so much to score, handle the basketball, and to be their assist man. Chris Paul can be the lead point guard for this team in moments when Steph Curry is also on the floor. And Steph Curry can play a little bit off ball, and you can use him in a variety of ways to free him open to shoot the basketball from outside and use him as that two guard to free up and stretch the floor a little bit. You can also have Chris Paul and Steph Curry on the floor together as two of your primary ball handlers. I also think this opens up an opportunity for Golden State to pay Chris Paul a lot this year, but then that frees up money in the future for Draymond Green and the contract extension that he's going to be looking for after he opted out of that player option, as well as Klay Thompson, who's entering the final year of his deal. As for what Chris Paul has done really the last few years, including this past year, still can play even though there's a lot of mileage on the tires. Don't get it twisted. Chris Paul's production has been very good in recent memory. This past year still gave the Phoenix Suns 14 points per game, nearly nine assists, a steal and a half per game. He's an extremely heady player whose basketball IQ is just terrific. 44% from the field and 37.5% from three-point range. Jack, we can also take a look at what he's done over the last four years. We had popped those numbers up briefly on your screen, but I want to talk about these because you can expect CP3 to give you something close to this. Now, he's not going to be relied upon to generate offense as much as he has been in previous years for teams like Phoenix, Oklahoma City, Los Angeles Clippers. But again, if he just gives you 50, 60 games, and in moments when Steph Curry is out, Chris Paul is really your primary distributor, you can certainly do worse than this. Now again, $30 million is certainly a lot on that front for a guy who might not even start for you. If he does start for you, I would not be surprised. But you are putting some of your poker chips in the middle of the table here to try to win an NBA championship. Stylistically, I do worry about Paul's fit because he likes to play at a slow pace in which he can dictate the game and pick apart defenses, whereas sometimes Golden State, they're getting out fast in transition on that go-go-go pace because they're trying to really overwhelm the opponent with a lot of those momentum changes throughout the course of a ball game. This is why you subscribe to the show. We put out a show a little bit earlier. We're putting out another video right now talking about CP3 to the Golden State Warriors in exchange for 
Jordan Poole. So hit that sub button as we approach 60,000 subscribers. And a programming reminder here, we will be live right here on Warriors today for the 2023 NBA Draft to see who the Warriors select and who will be making their way to San Francisco. The player obviously going out is going to be Jordan Poole, and maybe the relationship between him and Draymond Green could not be salvaged. And maybe Golden State realized that we have to move off of Jordan Poole because of how he acted after that contract, the awkwardness that kind of loomed around that locker room that Steph Curry and Draymond Green did talk about, and what made the Warriors so special during that dynastic run when prior to this year they won four championships in nine years. It was the locker room chemistry, the camaraderie, the continuity, how closely knit everybody was, and the system offensively in which they ran. Poole sometimes would get reckless, and he would try to play outside of the system, and on nights in which he was putting the biscuit in the basket, he played really, really well. Other moments in which he grew a little bit cold, and he couldn't buy a bucket, he looked ugly, the ball would die, the offense would certainly suffer, and he made some head-scratching plays a la like a J.R. Smith that just drove Steve Kerr as well as the players on this Warriors team a little bit crazy because that offensive synergy is what makes them so great. And if you try to do your thing outside of that, you're being selfish. You're doing it for yourself individually. Please don't get it twisted that two years ago, Poole did help the Warriors win that NBA championship, and he was one of the favorites for Golden State fans as a player on this Warriors team. But everything kind of got a little bit weird and wonky after that fight with Draymond Green. And from there, everything went downhill. And you do get two picks back in addition to Chris Paul here. But you are kind of, in a sense, giving up on a very young player who did have a down year, who I think is going to go to the Washington Wizards. He is literally on a terrible basketball team going to shoot the rock 20 to 25 times. And it won't surprise me at all if he's averaging somewhere between 20 and 30 points per game. And he's going to be the primary offensive player for that Wizards team. And he's going to have his ample opportunities. And if he wasn't about winning, if he was complaining about his role throughout the NBA playoffs, as was reported, well, now he gets to go to a team where he is going to score a lot of points and he's going to be able to chuck up a ton of shots. And if that's what he wants to do as an individual basketball player, that'll suit him well in our nation's capital. So we'll be live here on Warriors today for NBA draft coverage. We'll also be live on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel for the 2023 NBA draft. It'll be known as the Victor Wembenyama draft. Subscribe and join us, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. So another look at the trade details here. The Warriors get Chris Paul. And I just want to see what the lineup combination is. I want to see how much he plays, what his usage is, how his slow preferred pace impacts the tempo for the Warriors. And then the Wizards get Jordan Poole is going to be able to shoot a lot and score a lot. Ryan Rollins, we'll see if he gets some time. They already gave up Bradley Beal and Chris Stapps, Porzingis. And combined, they only netted like a couple of first-round picks for that, which is a disaster. And then the Wizards also receive a protected first-round pick, but not until 2030 and a 2027 second-round pick. Does Chris Paul play for the Warriors this season? I want you to give me a Y for yes or an N for no. This trade cannot be completed until July because of some constructs in Jordan Poole's contract. So keep in mind that, and some people have been talking about this possibility, that Chris Paul might not play for the Golden State Warriors this year, and they let him go as a way to free up some money in the future. I think they make this move in trading Jordan Poole to bring in Chris Paul to play on this basketball team to try to win yet another NBA championship. Another reminder, please subscribe to the show. It's Golden State Warriors today. We give you all types of coverage year-round, and at this point of the time in the yearly calendar, we basically give you videos Every single day. NBA Draft tonight, we'll be covering everything that the Dubs do. And NBA Free Agency starts next Friday. And it's going to be a pivotal, massively important offseason for Golden State. We have you covered every step of the way. Make sure you hit that sub button. It's Warriors Today by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. Chris Paul is a Golden State Warrior.